Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Sure Smokes, and you join me here on the old Dollar Railway Line. I featured this uh, railway line before, um, of course it dates back to the 60s where it was used as a passenger uh, railway line and it also serviced the local coal mine where my granddad worked, and uh, that went on until the early 70s before it was uh, closed down, and uh, it's now a cycle path and... Uh, a favourite uh, dog walking area as well, so good to see it still getting uh, used. And I'm underneath one of the uh, the bridges as uh, it's been a few heavy showers this morning, so just taking some cover. Yeah, I've had to stop and start a couple of times. As I said, it's very popular with uh, dog walkers, and uh, I don't know why a guy in a cap smoking a pipe underneath a bridge um, in a 70s deck chair can arouse such uh, curiosity, but uh, there we have it. Anyway, the road is quite clear at the moment, so hopefully uh, get through this uh, next bit without too much interruption. So coming into the end of November, and um, as I said, uh, definitely getting a lot chillier, uh, especially in the mornings and of course the dark nights. Um, so I've, I've picked this place for two reasons. Um, one, because it's got a good bit of uh, cover. And just to do this little bit, and uh, secondly, um, this is where I used to take uh, my mum's dog for a walk, and um, sadly, uh, Maxie um, had to go to sleep uh, yesterday morning, uh, just due to uh, a lot of complications health-wise, and um, we had a family discussion alongside uh, the vet, and uh, it was agreed that it would be the best... Um, best decision for uh, Maxi um, in the long run so um, yeah so a bit of a sad day yesterday um, at my mum's um, although he was a wee dog uh, Maxi uh, was a huge part of the family for uh, just over 10 years and uh, a great companion um, and source of comfort for my mum when my dad passed away a few years ago so um, so she's feeling it uh, very much at the moment so um yeah, so I thought I'd come down here and have a little pipe um, and uh, just kind of reminisce a little bit about uh, Max. We had some good times together. We had a um, quite a funny routine. Um, I mean, I've I moved out of home when I was um, 17 uh, and, um, and although he was really my mum and dad's dog, he was very much uh, part of my life as well and each time I would go visit my mum. Um, I had to go through this routine where I had to speak to Maxie first, and uh, and if I didn't, he, he soon let me know that he wasn't happy about it, and uh, I had to give him loads of cuddles for the first five minutes, and then and only then could I get to uh, find out how my mum was doing. So um, yeah, it was a good, uh, it was a nice little tradition that we had, and uh, as I say, we used to come down here for a short walk, and uh, here's a couple of pictures of Maxie, uh, just to give you an idea of the kind of dog it was. And the uh, pipe I've chosen today, it's my uh, Falcon International with the uh, dental stem and it's the bulldog bowl that's in place and this was a father's day gift actually um, so, so this is about two years old now uh, since I was given it um, and uh, yeah it's still one of my uh, favourite ones to take when out on uh, walks and adventures um, I just love the the shape of it to start with and it's nice and light as well so it's a really good smoker And in the bowl, I've got some Chariton Black Flake, which I picked up in Edinburgh. Uh, again, it's, I've had this before, uh, and it's a really tasty, really rich black flake. And um, let me just get one of the flakes out just to show you. And there, hopefully we can pick that up on the camera. And um, 
this breaks down really nicely for packing the bowl and the, uh, the aroma from it is just that rich, dark, um, slight nuttiness, sweetness coming through and um, as I say, flavour wise that just comes right through when you're when you're smoking so it's uh, yeah that's a very nice smoke and going well with my uh, hot chocolate cheers so yeah this has been probably one of the the better days um, in the past week um, so it's Luckily it's fell on my day off and I um, was able to come down, um, but still, there's uh, intermittent showers, hence under the bridge today, uh, which is the, the perfect cover, uh, and um, yeah, it's just nice to um, sit back and uh, think of the the good times I had uh, walking Maxi along here, um, had quite a few pipes with him, uh, and also uh, a couple of good cigars as well, so yeah, some uh, some good memories. And talking of cigars, I was in Glasgow uh, last weekend. Uh, a guy I met through Instagram uh, had arranged a meet up with uh, a few other guys that he knew on a cigar chat room. And uh, this is the thing I love about the cigar community, and I'm sure it's the same with the pipe community as well. Um, hadn't met any of these guys before, uh, and as I said, we all met up at the, the Dakota uh, Cigar Terrace uh, in Glasgow. And here's a little video just to give an idea of what their smoking terrace looks like. So as you can see, it's a, it's a perfect location and uh, so fortunate to have that in Glasgow, um, especially with Scotland having its uh, very tight smoking laws, which prohibits uh, all indoor smoking. Um, so to have a place like that, that we can all meet up in uh, a nice bit of comfort and to be well looked after as well, it's, uh, it's really a great thing to have. And um, as I said at the beginning, uh, that sense of community uh, is something that I love about um, cigar and pipe smoking. Um, as I said, we'd only met, well, I'd, a couple of guys knew each other. Um, the, the crowd, I'm, that was the first time uh, for myself meeting them. Uh, but as soon as that first cigar was lit and we all got chatting about each other's uh, likes and dislikes about cigars, etc. Um, you know, it was a great afternoon spent together. Uh, with good company, good cigars and uh, a lot of good chat and uh, amazingly uh, a cigar buddy of mine turned up out the blue with his friend uh, Martin and Neil and um, so it was great to hang out with those two guys as well um, after the event and uh, yeah a very enjoyable uh, Saturday afternoon was spent and uh, here's a couple of pictures um, of the cigars that we had. <laughs> So it was a very enjoyable afternoon and uh, it was great to meet up with um, another crowd of cigar enthusiasts and basically just share um, our thoughts on what we're smoking nowadays and where in fact we buy our cigars. And um, yeah, so a lot of great contacts were made, uh, which is what it's all about. And as I said, uh, just a great afternoon and to catch up with my two other cigar pals uh, was just an added bonus. And uh, yeah, so a great, a great afternoon. You can probably hear in the background the, the rain is starting to pick up, um, but I'm quite happy here, sat under the bridge. Uh, still got a, half a flask of hot chocolate and about half a bowl left um, of the dark flakes, so um, yeah, I'm sorted for the next wee while. Um, tonight I'm heading back into Glasgow, this time with my sister. Uh, I got her tickets uh, as part of her birthday um, for the real Australian Pink Floyd, who are playing at the Hydro in Glasgow. Um, I've never seen them before, my sister loves them, uh, she loves the original Pink Floyd, 
and uh, but I have heard some great things about their gigs, so um, looking forward to that. And, uh, and in my next video, I shall uh, let you know how that gig has gone. Hopefully I'll get this one out for the weekend. Uh, I'm back to work, unfortunately, and that'll be me right through probably until Monday, Tuesday. Um, but whatever you're doing throughout the weekend, uh, have a great time. Um, thanks as always for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate that and for all your comments. And uh, in the meantime, as always, my name's Shearer. Enjoy your smokes. <laughs>